Hey everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. Well, just a beautiful morning out here at Wamaman Lake and I'm out here with a number of folks from Alberta Environment and Parks who are doing watercraft inspections. Hello. How's it going? Good, how are you doing today? Good, good, good thanks. Um, so we're just doing some watercraft inspections for aquatic invasive species. Oh, okay. um, so I'm not sure if you've been through one before. Nope. Uh, so it's with uh, Alberta Environmental Parks, and we're mostly worried about zebra and quagga mussels. Um, so they're invasive little tiny fresh water mussels. So our inspection stations are generally located at the borders, uh, and a lot of these boaters within Alberta won't normally see us. So these kind of stations are a good way um, to get a little bit more outreach and education, um, as well as inspecting boats and making sure that they're clean, drained, and dry. So we have three uh, trained canines uh, in the program in the province here, uh, and they're trained to sniff for the invasive zebra and quagga mussels. Um, and so it's really amazing what they can do uh, with their noses. So uh, some of these mussels are the size of a grain of sand and they're really difficult for us to see. Uh, and these dogs are trained to be able to sniff that uh, anywhere on a boat. Um, and if they do find anything, they'll sit down alert uh, and that would notify the, the canine handler that they found something on the boat. So uh, they're a really amazing kind of uh, tool to use uh, as well as a, a great form of education and outreach for, uh, for the public. Have you have you intercepted any any mussels coming in? Yeah, so so far this year in 2022, um, as of July 22nd, we've had 13 mussel fowl boats coming into the province in Alberta. Um, so it's quite a few. For the most part, they're coming in from places like Ontario and the Great Lakes area, uh, as well as Winnipeg. Um, but we do get boats coming from all over North America. Obviously, uh, the fact that the boats that you've intercepted with mussels have have been outside of. Alberta um, and coming from places where zebra mussels are pretty they're already in the in the system to some degree um, does that kind of send a signal to you that the message here in Alberta is sinking in you're getting compliance from from um, all watercraft owners absolutely yeah so uh, we get boaters coming in from all over the place with all types of boats so whether it's a paddleboard a kayak or a motorboat, they're all required to stop at our inspection stations. Um, and it seems as though most people are educated and they know the risks of uh, zebra and quagga mussels especially. Um, and generally people have been very good about making sure that their boats are clean, drained and dry, uh, and at least stopping at our inspection stations uh, just to make sure. 